In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to chat with supplier and order from China using Pindodo Chinese shopping app. So let's see. But before we dive into this tutorial, as you know me, my name is Rafi Yaku. I'm an importer and a procurement agent. If you want me to procure Link on 168 Star Wow, Pindodo, or I do fish, or you want me to pay a Chinese supplier, or you want me to coach you on how you can be a procurement agent, consider to contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell for more tutorial about China importation with Pindodo Chinese Shopping app. So with that being said, let's get started. Welcome back to this video. Let's see how to chat suppliers and place order ship from China with Pindodo Chinese Shopping app. So let's dive in. So the very first thing you need to do is to simply click on your Pindodo Shopping app. So I'm going to click on my Pindodo app right here just to log in. So after you open up your Pindodo Shopping app, the next thing you need to do is to source for an item in different ways. One of the first ways to source for an item on Pindodo Shopping app is to simply type the keyword of the item to the search engine right here. You might type English language or you might type Chinese character language just to search for an item. Then the next, another way to source for an item is to make use of this camera icon right here, which stands for image search. What you do here is to have the picture of the item and upload it through this camera icon. Then you will be able to see similar result. Another way to source for an item on Pindodo Shopping app is to simply scroll down like this. The more you scroll down, the more item is going to load up by different supplier. Okay, let's for instance, I want to order from this particular wig store. I'm going to click on the store link right here. Then the store link is going to load up to this particular page. Next thing we want to do is to simply add the item to cart. And for me to add the item to cart, I need to simply click on here to add the item to cart. Boom. So after you have successful had the item to cart, next thing you need to do is to simply chat up with the supplier. And for us to do that, we just simply need to click on here to have a conversation with the store. Then you have to simply click on this particular image right here. Okay. So the next thing you need to do now is to chat up with the store. So for us to do that, we need to make sure we exit from Pindodo shopping app. Then we have to head over to our Google Translate. So right here, I'm going to click on my Google Translate. So if you don't have Google Translate installed on your phone, Google Translate is a free app by Google that allow you to use the app to translate from Chinese to whatever language or from English language to whatever language. It is a free app that is available in Google Play Store for Android user. If you are using iPhone, just head over to your iPhone store and get the app successfully download, install on your phone. From there, you can use it to communicate with Chinese supplier in Chinese language. All right, so as you can see right here, I have the app already download, installed on my phone. So when you have successfully download the app, first thing you need to do is to make sure that you set your spoken language right here, your typing language right here, then convert to this particular language. So as you can see here, I've already set my language to be English, then to Chinese tradition. Next thing I need to do is to simply come to the top right here and type, hello, please, do you have these items in store? I want to order now. Okay, so after you have successfully typed in it, the next thing you need to do is to simply click on here to copy the Chinese translation. Then you have to head over back to our Pindodo shopping app right here. So what we need to do, you can see they have been chatting us. You have to click and hold down right here, paste, then we send. Okay, so we can also translate the response from the store right here. So how do we do that? We can do it in different ways, but I'm going to do it in a simple way so that everybody that watch this video can be able to understand. You can see their response right here, very fast and quick. So for me to translate what they are trying to say here, I will simply make a screenshot. Then I will assist again. Next thing I'm going to do is to head over to my Chrome browser. So I'm going to click on here to open my Chrome browser. Then from the Google Chrome right here, I will simply click on here. Then I'll select the screenshot. 
then I'll choose translate. So immediately you choose translate, it automatically translate everything. So you can see the response here, what is your use? So what can I help you with? So things like that. So what I need to do here is to simply go back to the Pindodo shopping app. Then I will just make a screenshot of the actual one that I need to buy from this store. So for us to do that, we have to exit from here. Then we head over to my profile right here. I'll click on here, my profile. Then from my profile right here, I need to simply click on here. Then from my cart right here, I will simply make a screenshot. Then I'm going to crop. So I need this particular one right here. Next thing I need to do is to simply click on chart right here. Click on the item link. Then I'll simply click on here again to connect to chart. All right, so the very first thing I need to do now is to simply click on the plus, plus sign right here. And I'll select the picture and I'll click on send. Then having sent the picture, I'll head over back to my Google Translate right here. Then I will change my text that do you have this in store. Please check my screenshot. Okay, then I'll come here again and I'll copy and I'll go back to my pin doodle here. I'll click on hold down. The iPhone reply me and send. So this is their response right here. So let me simply make a screenshot. Then I'll go back to my Google Translate. So I'm going back to my Google Chrome. Then I'll click on here. And I'll select the screenshot. I'll make sure I choose Translate. Do you want K3? This one is yes, you can click through. So it simply means that they have this item in store. Okay. So next thing I need to do is to head over back to my Pindodo shopping app. All right. So right here, I will just go ahead and make a payment for the items. I have to assist from here, from here. Then from this point here, I will simply click on here. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on here to proceed to checkout. Then right here, I'll make sure that my Alipay is checked. Next thing I need to do is to click on here to proceed to payment. Then right here, I need to enter my payment password. So payment done successful. Next thing I need to do is to simply click on done. Then have to go back to my profile. So by the time I refresh my profile, the item we just make payments for is going to be found right here. So let's check it out. So here we go. It's as simple as that. So this is how to chart shop and ship from China with Pindodo shopping app. I hope you really got value for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big like and also remember to subscribe to the channel for more tutorial about China importation business. And lastly but not the least, if you want me to procure a link on 1688, Taiwa or Pindodo or Idufish, or you want me to be a Chinese supplier, or you want me to coach you on how you can be a procurement agent, consider to contact me on WhatsApp with the number in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.